Hey, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to RV Away. Today, we're gonna talk about this camper I bought, a 1979 camper from Facebook Marketplace. I haven't named her yet. If y'all have any good at name ideas, drop them in the comments. But today, we're gonna be walking around the whole thing, inside and out, and showing y'all what we plan to change, fix, or upgrade on the camper. Sorry, I'm breathing so hard. It's cold, I just did a little bit of running. Woo, and that wind is not playing. All right, so first things first, we gotta start what you saw in the thumbnail, the black tank. If you're not familiar with RV life, your black tank is where the poop goes. As you can see, mine has a fat crack in it. That is no bueno, okay? I don't use my toilet in my camper because of that reason. Um, it's unfortunate. I had to either drop the tank completely and uh, put a new tank under there so I can use the toilet or either drop the tank, remove the toilet and just use the bathroom space because it is pretty spacious. Secondly, we go from the bottom working our way up inside, outside in. So we have this rotted wood inside of here. It's terrible, I know. I plan to, I guess, fix this, put more wood inside of there. That's just above all not good. I'm not sure what these are. Those look like anchors maybe for the awning. Maybe, got a bunch of random wood and stuff in here. That's always nice, our brand new sewer hose. We have a couple lights out up here. I think these two, maybe these two or these three are all out. So those lights are gonna have to get replaced. We'll work on this side first. This is just the back of the refrigerator for fridge access. The fridge works fine right now as long as the camper is level. This is the water heater. When I bought it, it had a door. I was trying to get the water heater. To, the water heater was leaking really bad because of uh, this right here. I, I'm pretty sure this might be our anode rod. It's, or either that or it's the relief. But I think it's the anode. So that was loose and the water pump wouldn't work. So I had to rip the whole door off, tighten it. And now my water pump works, but I don't use it because it's freezing. Up here, we have the propane regulator. Right now it's working. You can kind of see it's green in there. If I cut everything off, it'll turn red. But it has this weird thing where it fluctuates between the tanks, I guess. This is not automatic, obviously, so it can't flip between them. But I think these hoses bleed over. I'm not too sure. I just need to do regulator because sometimes my furnace at nighttime does not work. I want to replace this jack for sure because yeah, this manual is not it. I want to take this out and put an automatic in just to make leveling it easier. If you can see down here, it doesn't have any leveling jacks. That's from my, that one is from my spare. That's from my truck. I want to put scissor jacks and weld them to the bottom in all four corners just so it can make leveling actually easy. I'm not a big fan of these. I mean, they're okay. They do what they need to do for the battery. They make my lights cut on and whatnot. They, my 12 volt pump works. But uh, yeah, I just, not, I just don't like how it looks. So I wanna do something with that different, but I'm not too sure yet. As well as there's this switch for the 12 volt and I think the 110, I don't know. I bought it like this. <laughs> I have to figure that electric that electric stuff out as well later on. Some of these lights need to be replaced. I think these two need to be replaced. I could be wrong. If you saw this, this happened in, a, in, in one of this year's earlier videos while I was on the road. This actually flew off. It was hanging off the side of the camper. Had to nail it in with some nails I had in my toolbox and a hammer. So that was fun. I'll probably throw a clip in so y'all can see how stressful that was. Oh, and I forgot one thing. This. So on this side, my leaf spring is completely just not the leaf the leaf spring is sitting by itself i'm pretty sure this is my axle differential if y'all have any ideas on what to do here how to do it please 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 comment because i'm going to do this myself eventually well i will be doing it myself eventually and i just would love some tips because that is uh not good 
those bolts supposed to be on that just like this one so yeah that's not good that's no boy though that's probably the those are all the most pressing issues yeah see the other axe oh see this one needs to be replaced as well so it has one on the far side as you can see but this one i don't know what that piece is called bracket maybe it's broken i just really need to replace those probably replace all of them all one two three four so four on this side four on that side I'll probably replace all eight if possible other than that here we have our awning and i'm pretty sure the awning works but how do i reach that to pull the awning out so yeah i don't know i'm still kind of decided because the awning was definitely added aftermarket you can tell because it blocks this outlet and it blocks this window and when i think that window is okay it might block that one too so it's definitely aftermarket because i can't open some of my windows so i'm debating on just removing it and selling it what do you guys think all right that was the complete outside everything that i plan to work on fix or change right now the roof terrible whole different story we'll get there one day <laughs> but for now we're not getting up there we're not we're not that uh yeah we're not doing that okay if y'all think i should um consider doing the roof first i've heard of that but i don't know man it's just i don't know if you guys can see up there But man, oh man, that's a, that's, that got his own thing going on right there. And now to move it to the inside. Okay, let's get one thing straight. I don't have, I have lights. I don't have like YouTuber lighting. So the lighting is going to be abysmal. Second, I live in my camper. So it's going to be dirty. Okay. It's just, it's what it is. If you don't like how dirty it is, I don't care. You don't live here. Okay. It's gonna be dirty, but I really wanna show you guys this video because I still plan to change all these things, whether it's clean or dirty, okay? Just had to get that out of the way. Let's get into the inner workings of the camper. So my bathroom is inside of here. We're gonna get that out of the way first because I, because it's so bad, it's so bad. Okay, God, all right, just get prepared for this. It's gonna be terrible. But like I said, I don't use my bathroom. This is literally kind of like storage, as you can see. I don't come in, I don't go in this room. So you can see I have an entire tub this was all in here when I got the camper. I still haven't moved that stuff yet. There's a tarp I want to kind of use maybe for my roof because the roof leaks in one spot. All this wallpaper stuff, I want to take off. I want it to all come down. I want to put new wallpaper. Okay, this shower, ugly, disgusting. I want to replace this. If anything, I'll definitely keep the shower and everything in here. I'm just questioning the toilet. But, I mean, it's such a nice, good bathroom. There's even a medicine cabinet. Like, come on, bro. That's crazy. This was the window y'all saw. And this is an entire closet. So you have an entire closet in the bathroom. So some RVs don't have space, but I mean, this one has a, a pretty good amount of space. That's all my electronics. This is my, this is my fuse box. Electronics, I believe, are below this little bench here. So I plan to get in there, maybe put, install some solar, maybe do some of that cool stuff. But see, like even this, I plan to replace these maybe with like Duramax fans. Oh, see, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, so they all work. Like I said, they all work. All the faucets and stuff work. It's just, man, it's just, they could all be modernized. Same thing with this roof up here. This works. Let me see. Yeah, that works. A lot of them have things where you close them and they automatically go off so they can't work like this. I have to install some of those. But as you can see, all this paper, I just want all this gone. I just want all this gone. New stuff up here, like the entire roof, pretty much. All new wallpaper. All new wallpaper on everything, pretty much. This TV, I'm cool with. I like it being up here. They mounted it. This is how I bought it. It was mounted up here on a stud thing, I'm pretty sure. So, hey, I'm cool with it. I might do something that's a little bit more okay i guess that's a little bit more safe i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of like the feet holding it straight and whatnot but hey they did what they had to do and it works so maybe i shouldn't fix it if it's not broke let me know what y'all think in the comments continuing most of this stuff is just aesthetics because it's the inside as you can see like this wallpaper or roof paper i don't know what you would call this stuff it's okay 
I don't like you can see kind of how it's peeling right here a little bit delaminating I guess but I just want to take all of this down and put on something new put on something different just all of it all of it I'm just I just I just want to put something new also these lights if you can see right here they burn they're so hot they usually burn the covers and I've taken a lot of them out and moved them around because they keep blowing they're just not they're just not very efficient and I'm not a big fan of them so I plan to take all of those out eventually and put in LEDs or puck lights. I don't know if you know what those are, but just drilling a hole into the roof pretty much and putting a light that can be controlled from my phone through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And so, yeah, um, that's looking like a better option just because these lights are not very ele electricity efficient and they get really hot. And so it's just burning a lot of thermal energy. I'm not sure if y'all know the whole energy pattern, but yeah, we're losing a lot of power just through thermal thermal uh energy thermal heat loss pretty much um other than that okay my sink my sink is dirty okay i, I live here i eat okay i'm gonna i'm doing my dishes today after i finished recording this video but yeah the sink is okay it's a double it's a double basin but i could use covers to um i, I could use a sink cover just so i have more counter space and i'm also thinking of adding a flip up table right here maybe you know so i can have extra counter space right here maybe cut this off i don't know well not cut it off but unscrew it probably just unscrew this bad boy and extend my counter space make something that flips up or something that attaches here maybe who knows other than that i mean my stove my stove cover st fan cover i can't remember what this thing is called it's just dated it's just i don't know if i could i could probably re i mean it works my light fan so I mean, I could either repaint this and continue using it, or I can get something that's more modernized, newer. Same thing with my stove, my oven entirely, pretty much. Pretty sure this whole thing could just come out with the propane lines and put a new one in. Either that or just clean it up and put it back in as normal. Um, I'm still kind of decided on that. So let me know what y'all would do. If y'all have any experience or just what you think you would do. Like I said, just kind of polish all this stuff up, new laminate and everything. And it could be looking good as new, but I was just trying to decide, should I, would I be better off replacing it or just like buffing it, painting it and putting it back where it belongs. And I pointed out this fan, but what I want to do here instead of getting a Duramax fan is probably put it in an AC. I don't know what y'all think about that, but I feel like an a, I mean, having three fans or three vent covers already is pretty, allows for a substantial amount of air to move through. And so I'm really not sure if I should just put Duramax fans and let them do the job or if I should maybe install an AC here in the middle because we also have another skylight up here. It has no fan, but it's still another way to um, exhaust hot air. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted. What do y'all think I should do? Put an AC here or just like a Duramax fan to just pull out um, a little bit of heat and not just and not cool too much. So use right there's my right here is my water tank, right here's my water pump. That's the 12 volt water pump. So in one of my in my first camper, I had a water pump that I, I didn't know, but the water the water pump shut off by itself. So once it once it achieves a certain pressure, it shuts off by itself. So you always have water on demand. And so once I use the water, it'll run out, run out, run out. Once it gets to a certain point, the water pump will kick back on and just do its job. That water pump does not do that, and I want another water pump that does do that. So that's the plan we're replacing that one. I'm not sure they have names or whatnot. I think that one's supposed to have a cutoff pressure, but it doesn't, so it might be a leak in the lawns. It'll kind of it'll kind of just come down to redoing the entire water system, I'm thinking. And I don't mind that, just a few pipes. They're probably really old plastic pipes, so they should probably be replaced anyway. So yeah, I plan to replace that 12 volt pump, especially. As you can see, I keep my clothes up here right now just so I don't have anywhere else to put them. Well, I haven't thought of anywhere else. And this lifts up. You can lay down into a bunk. People can sleep up here. Or you can flip it up and it'll make a wall. So Above all, I just want to add some shock absorbers. I don't know if they'll go on the wall here or maybe go on the roof up here maybe on the far sides. I just want to make it to where it's easier to raise and lower this thing. It's mad heavy. And yeah, I just want to make it to where it's more of a easy convenience to raise and lower it so i'll probably put some shocks on there and just one more thing outside i almost forgot it's up here 
our little the front portrait window front portrait cover is is in very desperate need of repair well not the cover more so but the seal up here as you can see it's just been broken is also old and it just isn't connected anymore i'm pretty sure some of these screws aren't even in the wood or frame anymore so the plan pretty much is to probably just repaint this to whatever color scheme i choose and then get this re-secured refastened and re-waterproofed other than that that's pretty much it give me a propane cover and whatnot there's a lot of aesthetics that y'all can probably point out all day but for the most part it's pretty much it on the inside and out of the camper that's all the things that i plan to upgrade change or fix there are probably plenty of things as i continue living in the camper that i think of for example this light this is my outdoor light i don't know why it looks like this it doesn't move i can't take it off but it just looks like this i'm just not the biggest fan so who knows maybe i just don't know why it looks like that that's my 1979 camper inside and out pretty much all the plans I've, i plan to do to it this is the first video but in the first video where we start actually fixing and replacing things we're, we'll be replacing those window those window knobs window turning knobs and possibly the replacing the trailer jack replacing fixing the awning or taking the awning off who knows maybe changing the propane regulator just kind of depends on how much um how many things we're able to get for the camper if you want to support it anyway in the description down below it'll have the wish list for the channel it'll have things that i'm planning to do for the camper so an electric jack mount it'll have ways for me to raise and lower the camper a bottle jack there's different things that i can use while i'm on the road and um yeah i really appreciate you taking the time to look out for that if you do and if not i just appreciate you taking the time to stay this long in the video if you've made it this far you are a real one i want you to type in p-o-p-w just type that in p-o-p-w if you made it this far and i'll know you a real one who watched the entire video and just listen to everything i had to say because you really don't have to and i really genuinely truly appreciate it last thing these came from the wish list today actually and it came from leo i just want to say thank you so much leo i really appreciate you man i know you watch the videos this is the one guy who beat me for best dressed in high school and yeah i can't thank him enough man this is the little note that came with it hope this helps from leo yeah man my guy i don't think you know but i have such a hard time because i'm in a tin can so i don't get wi-fi in here and he just did something for me you guys don't even understand how much it's going to help my life my, my entire life i have a roku tv that doesn't even work sometimes because of the wi-fi and i'm in this tin can he just did so many things for me so thank you leo thank you leo if he comments leo if you see this please comment on the video i'll pin your comment i appreciate you bro thank you other than that though that's all for me this week come back monday for another video i drop a video every monday and thursday and i drop shorts every single day so make sure you hit make sure you hit subscribe hit the bell so you get notified whenever i drop that's all for me today rv away